The Trinidad and Tobago Taxi Drivers Association is displeased with the treatment they are receiving from the licensing authority. At their protest today, outside the Ministry of Works, President of the Association, Adrian Acosta, said the number of passengers they were authorized to carry by law has been and is being lessened daily. One of the issues is that uh, they are now downsizing our vehicles. When we go to license office, from 7 to 6, right? They are saying it's our weight issue. We are saying that's impossible, right? For the past six or seven years, we have been licensing our vehicles for seven passengers and eight. There was a new law passed about four, three or four years ago, uh, which um, stated that we can carry eight passengers, up to eight passengers in our vehicles. He said it is an injustice to be forced to have their vehicles reclassified as a law passed in 2015 allows them to carry passengers equivalent to the number of seats in their vehicles. Right? We are also calling on the Minister of Works to head into the license office and to make checks and balances because there are a lot of bubble and corruption that are going on in the license office. We are also calling on the Police Commissioner, Mr. Gary Griffith, the head in the license office, send his people, if there is a fraud squad or whatever, send it in the license office and do some checks and balances inside it because we are saying there are a lot of bubble and corruption that are going inside it. Mr. Acosta said the association has in its possession certified copies for the same vehicle carrying different seat allowances. The Taxi Drivers Association president said a legal battle is coming. He made this declaration based on their having spoken to officials at the Ministry of Works about the problem, but with no accompanying change in the licensing authority's action.